Hello YouTube, my name is Daryl TV, so we're Call of Duty World War II, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be talking about Call of Duty 2018 and the new leaks and rumors that are going around right now claiming that it will indeed be Black Ops 4. I want to preface this entire video by saying we are only in February and leaks like this are not uncommon in the Call of Duty franchise. Just last year, we had a bunch of rumors and videos going around claiming that Sledgehammer was working on a Vietnam themed game called Call of Duty People's Army, which obviously turned out to be fake and we've had countless other fake Call of Duty games leaked in the past. So something to bear in mind, take all the information in this video with a massive pinch of salt. So the new rumor that Black Ops 4 is coming in November was started by industry insider Marcus Sellers, who has a long history, I should mention, of successfully leaking Nintendo games. He has revealed on his Twitter that Black Ops 4 is indeed coming this year, it will feature a modern setting, it will be boots on the ground, it and its DLC will be available on the Nintendo Switch, and the Switch version will be handled by a company familiar with Call of Duty games. What an absolute absolute bombshell if this turns out to be true. This would technically be the fifth game in the Black Ops series. I've actually seen a lot of people right now saying that they would like to see them do something a little bit different with their games because they've been basically working on the same series for the past decade. A lot of people forget that World at War led right into the original Black Ops with its story and its characters. This would definitely be the first time we saw a modern game out of Treyarch as well. I mean, they did World War II with World at War. They did the Cold War and Vietnam with the original Black Ops. They did slightly futuristic with Black Ops 2 and Super futuristic with Black Ops 3, it would definitely be very interesting if Black Ops 4 were to release and they were to have it be set in modern times. If this does turn out to be real, I have to wonder just how modern this game is actually going to be, or if maybe it would air more on the side of futuristic, like with what we saw back in Black Ops 2. Given Treyarch's track record and their love of technology, I think it's safe to assume that if Black Ops 4 is coming, it's going to be more like Black Ops 2 rather than being like anything we saw with the Modern Warfare series. The big question on everybody's mind right now is, will Will this rumor turn out to be real, right? We've had so many fake Call of Duty games in the past, but I will say that this one actually does seem kind of likely, given the person that leaked it, as well as the other evidence that we have available. So, a while back, a big news story was Treyarch was looking to hire a combat system designer, and in that job listing, it said that the applicant would really impress them if they had a deep knowledge of firearms and modern military technology. Back in October, the analyst group Cohen and Company casually mentioned that Black Ops 4 would be releasing in 20. 2018 in their report, and a while back, we also saw this image tweeted out by Phoenix, the team that handled the last-gen ports of Black Ops 3, which kind of led us all to believe that they would be working on the Nintendo Switch port of Call of Duty World War 2, but obviously that never happened, but Marcus said in his leak that the Nintendo Switch version of Black Ops 4 would be ported by a team that's familiar with the Call of Duty franchise, and what better team than Phoenix, who handled the port of Treyarch's last game? There's a lot we could actually read into this, but one thing is for sure, I think we're all very excited about what Treyarch has planned for us here in 2018. I will be incredibly happy if today's leak turns out to be true. I think this sounds like an awesome game on paper, but remember that we have a few of these leaks that come out every single year and they happen to be fake, though rarely do they have this much evidence supporting them. So we're going to watch to see how it plays out. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you guys here in this video. What do you guys think? Is Black Ops 4 coming this November? Will it be something different? What do you personally hope to see? Leave all of your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section below. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Drop me a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.